Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Just check the snow. I'm going to shut the roll down the window, roll up the window rather because there's too much snow. It's kind of a snowstorm. It started only an hour ago, but uh, if you could show the outside, everything everything is white right now. Uh, that's how much the speed of snow was. Everything is white. And this is a side road. Um, I would call it a street. Uh, but uh, yeah, you can... I would call it a street. That's why you see there's a little bit of snow right now. But on the main street, it's it's called the Huron Ontario Street. Um, on the main street, you would see there is no snow. Now, the reason is, basically, there are two reasons. One, it's right now, it's zero degrees or minus one degree. Um, not a very cold temperature. That's why the road, um, so practically what happens is because the cars are driving too much on this road, so the temperature of the road is below, is above what's actually the temperature in the air. So that's why the snow is melting as soon as it touches the road. And secondly, uh, when there is a forecast of any snow, uh, the city, they, they throw salt and grain on the roads, on the sidewalks, so that snow does not pile up. So I just wanted to give you a couple of uh, tips. First, always use winter tires. I mean, people will tell you, oh no, you are only driving in the city, you can get around it with, with the normal tires. Or So what happens is, it's only $500, $600 these days. I got it in my car for $500. Uh, it's an SUV, so the tires are a little bigger. I, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming that if it was a car, then the, then the cost would be $450, including labor, including everything, right? So $500 is worth it, especially because the insurance companies, almost all of them, they require you. They, I mean, it's kind of an obligation that you need to have those snow tires. Can you show the outside? Uh, and the road in the main, main road as well. Inside the car, just keep it here. Yeah. I just want to show you a couple of things. Uh, so the different distance between the next car and your car, it should be increased uh, when it is snow falling as compared to the normal days because it might take a little longer to pull the brakes to stop the cars. So that's why this distance need to be a little bit more. And uh, secondly, uh, the windshield, uh, you see back home, uh, we don't really use any uh, special kind of fluid for the windshield. But here in Canada, you need to have a special uh, windshield water, which is very, very cheap. I believe it's $4 for four liters. But what happens is um, the water freezes down in the tanks, so you need that special fluid. You can't use a pl a plain water. So you need to keep on clearing the windows so that the visibility is there. I'm gonna clear, clear the video uh, window. Can you please show it like this? So make sure you have extra fluid in the back. So if, if you get caught in a snowstorm, that's something that's gonna keep you uh, safe on the road. And then um, uh, whatever you do, don't speed up too much. Sudden, no sudden movement, that's the rule. No sudden speed, no sudden turn, uh, nothing sudden. Make it um, quite evident wherever the direction you want to move to. So if you follow these things, uh, I mean, they, you wouldn't even feel a difference if there was a snowfall or a rainfall. So just be careful, uh, it's nothing dangerous, but uh, make sure that you have your winter tires on otherwise it's going to be it's going to be risky and you don't want to put your life and the other's life at risk and now um i'm going to uh, the highway so i'm going to ask my wife not to film myself while driving and uh, she will maybe uh, uh, make the video of the road so that you would get a feel on highways how a highway is um, uh, on a snowy day and uh, uh, everything outside on the sidewalks, wherever the grass is, everything is white. But wherever the concrete is, it is not white because of the two things that I told you already. Folks, this is QEW, Queen Elizabeth Way. It's one of the biggest highways uh, because it goes to the USA, it goes to Niagara Falls, starts from Toronto. So uh, what happens is you make your speed to 100 and then you merge. But right now you can see my speed is 60 and still I'm going to merge onto the highway. Um, why? Because all the traffic is slow. If um, the traffic was not slow, 
then I need to increase my speed to 100 and only then I can merge to the highway so that I I merge with with the speed that other people are driving at so that's the rule you need to increase your speed to 100 um, as soon as you come close to the highway and before merging onto the main three lanes of the highway okay then uh, uh, everybody knows about the blind spots etc I'm not going to talk about that just talking about the snow situation right now you you will see the snowfall is there but uh, the roads are clear there is no problem in the driving visibility is also very good uh, it's just that in camera maybe you won't be able to see uh, what I see from a human eye so and I don't have um, any advanced camera as well right it's just a cell phone camera that I have so um, yeah just feel safe feel confident about yourself uh, because if you feel confident in your driving only then you're gonna be driving good that's mm, what I always do I mean people would think that going this direction is not the right way but I just go in and I make my way so I feel that having confidence in your driving is the main thing in a snowstorm uh, people are calling it a snowstorm so I'm not really sure if it is a snowstorm or not so yeah uh, now just uh, see a little bit of views of the highway and then I'm gonna stop talking <laughs>